Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD5. Um, first of all guys, I want to apologize, I'm very, very sick. But today there's been a major update to the game. And as you see, it's uh, on a Halloween theme. So everything is a bit different, uh, a bit scarier. Um, and with this update, uh, there's been a, a new track has been added. And uh, it's going to be a, um, an expert track. And uh, if we go all the way here, it should appear. Here we go. The new track uh, is called Web. Um, I haven't played this track still, see, on any difficulty, but uh, in Sandbox, uh, I understood how this track works uh, just by spamming balloons and seeing the path that they follow. <coughs> and therefore, um, the balloons are gonna come up from this side here. Uh, they're gonna just follow the ninja, they're gonna then turn here, go top here, then follow this line here, going like this, then this, uh, yeah, then to the center, then low here, here, like that, and then they're gonna exit, all right? Um, as you see, uh, we can place land tower towers only on this <clears throat> pieces of uh, wood um, but uh, I think I have found out is that water towers see you can place them wherever in the blue part and also in this little for example submarines are a bit uh, um, they're little they're more little see they can fit um, in these spots there so <coughs> Definitely, you can uh, choose a, a water strategy, so with the submarines or with the uh, um, buccaneers, or you can just choose a, a land. And uh, I also discovered that there are three spots for farms. One is going to be here in the top left side, one here and one here. So uh, having in mind all of that, so how this truck works, how the balloons move around and uh, all the stuff. Let's begin here with uh, this strategy. Um, I don't really care about the gold here. As you see, I have the lab on and I have, I think, the Super Monkey Special Building. So I don't, I don't really care about showing, like, for example, a, a good strategy uh, whatsoever. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to place here an engineer and I'm going to start off. As you see, I have enough cash here for a farm. So that's the first spot here in the bottom right side, then one farm here. You have just to play a little with the finger and then another one here. This one probably is the hardest to spot, but you can still manage to place one here. So <coughs> I'm going to try to go uh, with all the three of them. Um, so I'm going to start here with a farm there. And uh, yeah, so uh, I haven't been playing a lot this game lately just because I don't have any, I haven't had any good ideas about, for example, gameplays to do. So uh, that's why. Um... But I think I can still manage here to get another farm here, just by leaving this. 
engineer here yeah here we go so I placed a farm in the oh whatever I just messed up um, <clears throat> so uh, I placed a farm in the round so as you see I'm getting extra cash for that and right now I'm just gonna get here the the sentry guns okay here we go and that should be game over for the balloons until the camo round uh, remember this is impoppable but this is normal mode so definitely a lot easier as I was saying I haven't been playing a lot this game because I don't know what content to do about this game anymore I think I've covered everything that there is to cover about this game <clears throat> probably uh, the only thing I miss really much to do are uh, um, the 250 random missions like specifically all of them but I don't think it's worth it to spend all that time doing the videos uploading them about 250 missions that are a ton and also because most of the missions like 90% or maybe more it's pretty easy and anyone can really achieve to complete them so okay here we go so those are the three spots for the farms sadly there isn't really any other spot so you can't place more than three <coughs> farms in this game you just can't so um, yeah let's go Uh, I'm a bit tired here uh, of collecting these bananas because the farms are really far from each other so what I'm gonna do is uh, okay so I, I can't place a farmer there because uh, it's gonna okay so definitely I can place a farmer for this banana and uh, and I'm gonna collect only the two bananas from here so in this way I can focus more on the gameplay, you know. So level 18 shouldn't be a big deal here. I should be able here to get another one. 2-0, yeah. Here we go. Now just placing uh, um, so I need a uh, ninja right yeah I need a ninja for the camo round probably this is the best spot for the ninja because see the balloons are gonna be around this area for a long time and therefore the ninja can really uh, start doing a ton of damage here we go Let's get one of these farms, 3-0, why not? <coughs> okay, so now I need this one here, 2-0. And I'm gonna just get this ninja here, 2-1. And remember, round 28, the first uh, leads. So uh, that means I need a lead popping power. And I think I'm gonna go with something... Uh, Probably, I don't know, maybe a glue gunner or, a, or a, an apprentice. Probably better the glue gunner here. So I'm going to place it. I could place it here. Very close to the beginning of the track. But then uh, the glue gunner is not going to be useful for gluing any balloons further than that. So I think I'm going to just get it here still a lot in the front but definitely better placed okay here we go 
so um, that's it for the popping power lead popping power I can get another farm here 3 0 I can get still another one here we go uh, and I think uh, Uh, probably a village somewhere around this uh, branch here not only to lower the cost of one of the farms but also to lower the cost of some of the ninja upgrades especially I don't know if I can reach the ninja if I place the village like here let's see yeah okay nice so that's going to be the village here, lowering the cost of this farm. So that's one thing. Uh, okay, three to ninja. So here uh, I have to check out the cost. So 7k and 7k here. So 14k. So I'm going to get the factory right now. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so let's get here. Let's get also bomb here, why not? Seems a good idea. With the village here to one. Okay, I think I can I can start placing more farms again. At least getting some two zero farms. And then uh getting some some towers for the mob rounds. Uh, here we go. Okay, two zero farms. Let's get now the Blanjinsu here. And let's start getting some Blunt Shippers if I can. If I can under the range of the village, can I? Oh, I don't think so. So, um, yeah, whatever. I mean, I could still increase the range of this. So the first mob is going to be around 46, if I'm not mistaken. So I can still get this village upgraded to 3. So that all the uh, balloon shippers I'm going to be placing here are going to be in range. Okay, so that should definitely help. Uh, okay, let's start upgrading this Blue Chipper. I already placed it against Strong, so I know it's gonna suck in the ceramics or stronger Bloons. In this case, uh, mobs. Okay, so now the deal is just um, actually, I don't know if this bomb uh, is a good idea, but yeah, why not? Now I'm gonna start getting more farms. Okay, that's it. Okay, so let's sell this. And let's get this factory. Here we go, too. Uh, I 
I'm gonna place here another brown chipper already. I don't need to, but uh, this bomb uh, is messing a bit my strategy because see this ninja is almost not attacking at all. So uh, <coughs> I don't know if that is uh, so good, but whatever. Okay. Um I think after this level I'm gonna probably get some some kind of uh heavy damage tower in the beginning of the path. Uh because I feel like these brune shippers are delaying a lot the the time the poppage that I could do to these bloons. So I'm gonna get here a 3. Normally I get 2 3 glue gunners, but here I'm gonna get 3 2 glue gunners. Because the bomb and the balloon cheapers are gonna hold a lot of bloons here. So even if the glue gunner can, will not attack a lot faster like the 2 3 glue gunner will. But still, I'm gonna do some good damage, so why not? And I still have a little spot here that I really hoped for. A uh, heavy damage tower like a... Uh, super monkey here. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think I can start getting a bit further, faster, through the rounds. I don't see any anything threatening at the moment. And for round 63, I just have the bomb and the glue gunner that are gonna destroy all of the ceramics. So... Let's get here the 2-4 village, why not? A bigger range so that I can place... Uh, I think I'm gonna be placing one more Boon Shipper there. Probably two more. Oh, there is no room there? Oh, so sad. Here we go. Okay, four Brune Shippers. I think that should be more than enough. And uh, I want also to place another Super Monkey around here. Mm -mm. Okay, if I saw this. This ninja here is almost not attacking anything, so there's no point in keeping it there when I can place some towers that have bigger range and can be a lot more helpful and uh, and yeah that's it uh, this is normal so mastery mode normal so it's not even um, it's in poppable, normal mode, so it's not mastery mode, therefore the last rounds are pretty easy to complete. And actually I don't, I don't think I need the, the farms anymore, I'm just gonna keep that one in the bottom right corner, because I have the the farmer there collecting stuff so why not let's use this room here 
for some towers. I'm impressed that I could place a heli there. Definitely, uh, I didn't thought there was enough room, but okay. So that's that's all. <coughs> that's all for this new track. Uh, I have all the lab upgrades on, and I'm using the Super Monkey special building. So I don't know if this track uh, is really harder, but until now it seems pretty standard and pretty easy also because uh, the balloons here are gonna follow this uh, web, but they're gonna be pretty close to the center. So if you place towers around this area, you should be fine. And uh, you have also here room at the end to place, for example, a spike factory right before the end. So you even get that. And... Uh, and yeah, so... That's all. I'm just seeing here, what can I place? Oh yeah, let's place uh, some snipers here, one with the attack speed and the other one without. You always, if you are um, getting snipers for four, zero, so snipers to cripple the mobs, you don't want them to be exactly the same otherwise you're gonna attack at the exact same attack speed and therefore you're gonna be crippling at the same moment the same balloon that's why uh the best combination there is is getting two snipers under a village that is two that has the second upgrade on so it has the 15 percent attack speed more and then getting one sniper with the attack speed itself and one without. See, this one is just for zero and this one instead is for one, so has the attack speed. And then you get outside the range of any village, like for example here, you get other two snipers. One for zero and the other one for one. And that is the best you can get because all of these four snipers are firing at different attack speeds and that means that the strongest balloon in this case every sniper is set on attacking the strongest balloon is going to be almost permanently crippled so it's not going to be able to move and you're going to be able to see this especially with the zomegats so in this round here so watch this so see that the zomegats well, in this case, uh, there are the the um, the balloon shippers that really destroy that, and you can see that. But if there were any balloon shippers, you could really see the Zomegat almost getting uh, slowed and stunned almost permanently. So this is the new track on Impopable. I again apologize for the voice; I'm very sick, but I wanted to do a video for this update. And probably I'm gonna cover this track also in master mode, always in poppable, and then I'm gonna cover this track in impoppable, but uh, without the lab upgrades. So knobs, I'm gonna add this track to the series knobs. So without special agents, lab upgrades, premium and specialties. So hope you guys enjoyed and see ya. Bye bye.